Millions of people will be watching from home as the Chiefs and the 49ers battle it out during the Super Bowl. And that, of course, means making some super food. So Chef Shar is joining us with some awesome nachos. Right. I, today I brought everything you need for a taco nacho bar. I, this is a fabulous idea. So first we have to have the cheese. So where do we start with that? Well, I'm going to put that in the crock pot. Okay. Because if you want to watch the game, you don't want to be cooking your cheese sauce I like sauce the way you think. Whatever. Right. And I totally, I think your viewers at home can make this. Perfect. What I took was a block of mm, Velveeta cheese. Hey, along, making it nice and easy, that's oh, what I like. For sure. Along <laughs> with that, this is probably stuff that people have in their cupboards. Right. Along with that, some okay. salsa, a package of taco seasoning mix, and some refried beans. All you do is you throw that in the crock pot, place it on high, stir it up, and then as it melts, turn it down to keep warm. Okay. And it's for your dipping pleasure. And then right you're there. good to go at All that point. Good. Yes. Oh my gosh, so simple and easy. And then you have some other steps to go along with that. Yes. So the other thing that I like to make is salsa verde. Okay. And that means green sauce in Spanish. And basically what I did is I took peppers. I took, if you have poblanos available at your grocery mm -hmm. store, okay. um, jalapenos, serranos, and then some tomatillos. Yum. I just peeled them cut them okay. up and a sweet onion. I put them in some olive oil, threw it under my broiler. Okay. And then after that was all done, it went into my blender. I blended it up with some lime juice and some cilantro. And okay. then we have our salsa verde. Perfect. What I did with the salsa verde is I put it on some shredded cooked chicken for chicken tacos. And then along with that, we have all the toppings and what I like about uh, this. I love that. Yes. Build your own pretty exactly. much. Exactly. Okay. So nobody can complain that <laughs> there's something on there they don't like. This is perfect because you're hosting so many people and so that way you ensure people get exactly what they want. Yes. So supply everything and you know, okay. think about the things that we don't normally think about. Like everybody thinks shredded cheese, mm -hmm. tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Look in your dairy section for queso fresco. That Ooh. is, uh, this is a Mexican crumbling cheese. It's divine on the chicken taco. What is the flavor um, of that one? It, it reminds me of feta cheese without okay. that salty, briny taste. Okay. That's something that a lot of people will like. Yes. That kind of cheese. Okay. Yes. It's a very mild cheese. Along okay. with that, people don't think about radishes. Cut oh. up radishes, it gives a little crunch, but trust me, it is so good. And healthy uh, too, which yes. is great. Okay. Yes. And then of course, I always like to have fresh salsa. So I made my own pico de gallo. Oh. And then of course, everything else that you could ever possibly imagine or want on a taco, it's here. That's perfect. And I love having the chicken, another little bit healthier option. And I see here something that you've did, which I haven't seen before. You take a soft taco inside a hard taco. Yes. That's yes. genius. That I love helps that. to pop that up. Otherwise, okay. a soft taco will lay flat on your right, plate. Right. And if you can't decide, hey, look what we have. Both. A little mix of I'm so <laughs> indecisive, so that's right up my alley. Chef Shark, thank you so much. We really appreciate you 